dementia. You know what? They're right to do it. I'm a useless old man. I have no sense of temperature, I got a pocket full of wet hankies, and all I want is 45 more seconds to speak at a town council meeting. Look, just hang in there, Dad. We'll figure out how to break this hex. You know, in every classic hex movie, the victim has to prove himself by performing some grand feat. For example, in The Santa Claus, Tim Allen had to deliver all of Santa's presents on Christmas Eve to break his cocaine hex. Wait, what did the old man say again? Something about walking a mile in his shoes? Walk a mile in his shoes? <gasps> Kilimanjaro! He wants me to climb Kilimanjaro, but in his shoes, as an old man. I don't know about that, Dad. No, no, no. Stan might be right here. He did tell the old man in the store he was going to climb it. How did you hear about that? My buddy Phil works there part-time selling sleeping bags. The rest of the week he's out in the woods banging married chicks. I don't think Phil's ever going to grow up. You know what, Dad? If climbing Kilimanjaro is what you think you need to do, we'll help you. Right, Haley? Sure, Dad. You kids are all right. <laughs> <laughs> you really loved her, didn't you? Yeah, we had fun. She pushed me to do things like take adult education classes. The last one was Native American tribal law. I challenge you to find a bigger waste of time than that. <sighs> okay, Franny, we're digging this stiff up. What? Why? Francine, I haven't been entirely truthful with you. Oh, my God! I really brought you here because I need someone to help me dump her body in Shelby Lake. I I'm not doing that! Look, her folks want her buried in the family plot, but she told me her final resting place should be in water. Shelby Lake was where we went on our first date. Uh, we had a picnic. As the sun set, we made love. It was awful. I just laid there. Th 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 this is insane! I'm leaving! Francine, wait! I know I was a bad husband to her in life, but maybe I can be a good one to her in death. It's my last shot at redemption. Okay, Roger. But no more lies. Thanks, Francine. Now grab a shovel and dig. Okay, lunch. Mmm. Mm. All right, kids, let's climb that mountain and break that hex. Pee break. Ow! Oh, look at the little guy. He's still alive. Oh, yeah. Resilient little fella. We should kill him. You know, put him out of his misery. Yeah, I'm sure he'd rather be dead than live like this. Oh, my God. They took me out here to kill me. They don't believe me climbing Kilimanjaro will break the curse. They think I'm gonna be a burden on them forever. You're gonna take me out here and shoot me? Well, guess what, kids? I'm gonna kill you before you kill me. Your old man's got a few tricks up it. Oh. oh, that's good. That's so good. My kids are so dead. This is so good. Dad, you should eat something. Yeah, I'm not really hungry for poison. Steve's right. You're gonna need your strength if we're gonna make it to the top of the mountain tomorrow. Oh, sorry, I'm just a shaky old man. Can't control my body or my mouth. Too many Mexicans! <laughs> See? I don't even believe that. I believe it a little. Which one should I do first? Steve. Sorry, kiddo. I'm getting to the top of the mountain and breaking that curse, and you kids aren't gonna stop me. Hey, Papa. <laughs> Looks like you did a little sleepwalking last night. You had a knife, and we figured you were gonna whittle something, so we went ahead and did it for you. It's the five hosts of Family Feud, from Richard Dawson through Steve Harvey. You forgot John O'Hurley. I told you! What is this? Sorry, my neck foil burst. <laughs> Yuck. Don't get old, huh? Oops, guess there was more boil juice in there. Shish kebab time. 
Papa? Hey, Papa. Papa, we found you holding a lighter. Bon Jovi's not here, Papa. You're on a mountain. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I admire what you're doing here. In fact, this might be the most noble thing you've ever done. Francine, I haven't been entirely truthful with you. Oh, come on! I don't really know where she wanted to be buried. Hell, I don't even remember her name. But one thing I do remember is her hair. I told you that no one makes a decent red wig these days, so I had to go find my own. Took her years to finally croak, but it was worth the wait. You're pretty happy, aren't you? I am content, yes. This whole trip was completely ridiculous, but you actually proved your point. What point was that? About being tenacious. You wanted a red wig, so you did everything you could to get it. Oh, yeah, so I did. Pull over. I want to try the move. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> you did it! You did it for absolutely no reason at all! Roger, I haven't been entirely truthful with you. The only reason I wanted to do the move is so I could do this! I have the car keys in my pocket, you stupid bitch! I'm worried about Dad. Where did he go now? He said something about Orientals and went to find a toothpick. Dad? Dad? Papa? Help! Children! I've lost my equilibrium! Dad, are you okay? Thank you for helping an old man. Now this! Ah! Ah! What are you doing? Killing you before you kill me! No one's trying to kill you! You have dementia! Crab apples! I'm almost at the top! I did it! I reached the top! Make me young again! What the heck? Oh no! Oh, oh, uh, help! Oh, uh, oh, 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 uh, oh, 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 Really? Still falling. Uh, 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 uh. Good boy. Oh my god, are you okay? No, oh, I didn't break the hex. I'm still old. That's an understatement. You're ancient. What are you even doing out here, junking up the mountain with your old bones? Hey! You should be at home, man. Sitting on a super padded toilet seat, right? Right? Farting out your soup, uh-huh, while your gross yellow toenails click on the linoleum. That's not very nice. Or fair. I just climbed that mountain. Did you really climb it? Or are you just having another senior moment? Hey, listen. I used to think like you, too. But I was wrong. I accomplished a big dream of mine today, and I did it as an old man. I admit it, it's not fun being old, but we can still live rich, productive lives. Dude, you're dying. You're going to heaven right now. Oh, hey, if you see my grandma, ask her why her breath was so nasty. No, I'm not dying. I broke the hex. Your elder abuse made me realize how it truly feels to be old. That's what the old man wanted me to learn, sympathy. Or empathy, whichever one fits. Kids, kids, look! I broke the hex! I'm getting young again! That's really great, Dad. Yeah, Dad. We're really proud of... Oh. What? What now? <gasps> All right, Dad, think. What was the last interaction you had with a black person? It was at the T-Mobile store, and it was not positive. <laughs> 